Shay Tierney and Stories channel where today we're trying a kind of different angle. Ignore the mess over here of my apartment. This is literally the entire space I live in and then my desk is here and my bedroom is over there. But anyways, welcome back. Um, today we're going to be talking about my um, reading goals for uh, 2022. I almost said 2021. I made a video on this notebook and I cannot find it so I'm going to have to make another one but I wanted to share the goals I wrote down in here for um, 2022, which are, I have to find them. So originally I wrote read 52 books because I thought I read more books this year. I did not. So I'm probably going to take it down from 52 to like 26 or 30. If I do make it to 52, that would be amazing. But I don't think I could read one book every week, especially with working um, two jobs for a little bit now while I'm transitioning into my other job and then I want to have my business um, launched by June so I have to work on that too and I'm going to college full-time I mean it's just it's a lot it's a lot <laughs> so my um second goal was to read in more genres because right now I just read a lot of fantasy and kind of romance but not really because I read a romance book in 2021 uh, and I did not like it it was uh, it was a Nicholas Sparks book and I don't even remember what it was called something about love letters I think um so I definitely want to read a more genre I have a couple of horror books I have a couple um just other kinds of books I have a lot of contemporary that I got from the scribbler boxes I got last year and I'm just looking at my bookshelf over there. Oh, there's a cat in the background. Um, but yeah, I have a lot of books in the contemporary field, so I might read a lot of those this year as well. Um, but yeah, just reading in more genres would be really great. And then I want to do a reading challenge, like uh, a week-long one or a month-long one. I want to do at least one because last year I didn't get to, and I really wanted to, so... Reading challenges are definitely something that I want to have happen. Um, and then I found that something that helped me in 2020 and I didn't do as much in 2021 was uh, reading uh, or reading, listening to audiobooks. So I do want to listen to more audiobooks um, this year because it'll help me get my reading count up. And that's really just kind of the goal is to get my reading count up because I think I read somewhere around like maybe 10 to 15 books um this last year and then um, listening to audiobooks would be really good for when you know I'm working or I'm busy doing something or I'm editing and um making art or whatever I could just listen to an audiobook because I can listen at double speed whereas reading I'm really slow so listening to audiobooks would be actually preferable but I can't really ever find them and then I never listen to them fast enough to finish them. Um, and then the next thing I want to do is read more nonfiction because I read like one or two nonfiction books. Um, I read not one or two um, nonfiction books last year and they were really good. And then I read some books on writing and stuff like that. So I want to do more of that. I think it would be fun. So, nonfiction is is one that I want to do. I don't know what book in general I want to read, but just more. Read more. And then the last thing is a kind of ambitious goal that I don't think I'm going to finish, but I want to get more books read out of my um, unread bookshelf, which basically is... All of the books on my bookshelf that I have not read yet. The manga, I don't think counts. I read, like, four of the Full Metal Alchemist last year. But other than that, I didn't get to read the manga like I wanted to. Because I was trying to read regular books. But, um, I want to get more of a dent into my unread bookshelf. Because it just is ever-growing. Because I added the, um, first two books to the carry on series or the simon snow series i think it's a trilogy actually because there's carry on wayward sun and any way the wind blows um 
And there's just a really good book. I might make a video about them because they're just so good. I'm so glad I have the collection finally and they're all hardback. On the last one, I actually got a signed copy because it had come out in like March or April in 2021. And I went to the uh, bookstore in town and oh my god. They're like, yeah, 20 bucks for the book and you get a... Um, you get a pen, you get a bookmark, you get a poster. I don't know if you guys can see it. Where is it? Oh, there it is. Right there. That's the poster. Um, but yeah, so those are the things that I want to do in 2022 for my reading goals. Let me know down in the comments below what your reading goals are, or just goals in general. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.